Hello everybody, this is JD. This is about the sixth time I've made this video. Every time I run a few seconds over 15 minutes. I'm going to try not to. I asked you a long time ago, a couple of days ago, where is the government of the United States of America? I told you it wasn't in Washington, D.C., and I gave you a clue. We the people, for the people, other people. Now also, I want you to think about what Benjamin Franklin said after they did the Constitution. Asked what type of government we were given, and he said a republic if you can keep it. That is a very important statement also. And understand the government <coughs> is there to assist us, not rule and dictate us. And where is the government if it's not in Washington, D.C.? What is Washington, D.C.? What is the president? What is Congress, the House, the Senate? What is the Supreme Court? Well, actually, they are the tools that the government uses. The government hires individuals, make them president, make them congressmen and senators, and through that, the Supreme Court is selected. And that creates the figurehead of the government. Just like on the front of a boat, the schooner, the figurehead. But that is not the ship. Also, Washington, D.C. is not the government. Then where is the government? The government is you the American people. Yes, you are the government. Nothing else. You are the government and as such you have a responsibility. Now remember when Jesus was asked about the tithes and the taxes he held up a coin and he didn't say you pay your tithes to God and you pay your taxes to Caesar. No. He said, render unto Caesar what is Caesar's, and render unto God what is God's. He said that for a reason. The reason is, everything that Caesar needs to be rendered, you must render. And everything that God, you must render unto God. Voting is a responsibility you have in this country. Because you are the government. Therefore, Render unto Caesar your responsibility of voting. You have to understand. You have a responsibility in this country. As an American citizen. From the day you were born. Or naturalized. In this country. And that responsibility. Part of it is voting. To ensure that the hiring. Of the president. Congressman or senator. Is of such a quality. That the man that you hire can do the job. You are the CEOs of the United States of America. <coughs> you do the hiring through your voting. Voting in this country is not a privilege. It's a responsibility because you are the government. And the government is there to assist you, the American people. Each and every one of you. Yes, you're the government. Now, I want to just give you a prime example of how array our government, how astray our government actually has gone. Because you have not been exercising your responsibility. I have watched the building a special National Geographic did on, I believe it was National Geographic, I might be wrong. The building of the dam in China, the giant dam. And looking at what all got flooded thinking about that with today's government that we have in this country Hoover Dam could not be built there's so many rules and regulations to stop it that it would not be able to be built Hoover Dam think about that you have all caused that to happen by not exercising your responsibility. 
you are the government. Washington DC is the figurehead. Like a ship, the figurehead's on the front of the ship. That's what they see when the ship comes into port. <coughs> but the ship is much more than that. And you voting are the sails. <coughs> and how you rig your sails is how your ship performs. You are the government. Each and every one of you out there. You have a responsibility to each and every other person in this country. Of the people, by the people, for the people. You are the government. And the federal government is there to assist you. <coughs> not to rule and regulate. <coughs> not to restrict. But to help you grow. But by you not exercising your authority. And by you not hiring the proper people to do the job. Look at what you got. You got a corrupt Congress. Each and every one of you is now corrupt to this. Now many of you tell me, me running as president is impossible. It's not. If you all start exercising your responsibility. You listen to my videos, you hear what I have to say. How many of you have passed them on or talked to other people about me? You like what I have to say, but you say, well, you'll never get voted. Yeah, if that's all you do is sit there, read and say, yeah, I like it. I would support you, but you can't get voted. You're right. You just made it that way. By doing that. By doing exactly that. You made it so. To change that, all you have to do is say, you know, if enough of us get together, you could very easily get voted and do the job. But to do that, you have to pass me on to other people. You have to exercise your responsibility as an American citizen, as part of the government. <coughs> so that all know <coughs> and hear what I have to say. You have to do it. Ah, oh, but they have already picked, yeah, they might have already picked their candidates. I don't think so, though. I think everybody's floundering. Right now, we have a chance to get our government back. And have it a government that is there to assist the people. But we must choose our leader very carefully. I don't say vote for me. I say check me out. And if you agree with what I'm saying, then you need to pass me on to other people. You need to understand that you, each and every one of you, are actually the CEOs of our government. And who you hire to do the job. Are you going to continue to go the corrupt way, the political party way? Or are you going to say, no, this is not the way it's going to go. <coughs> we are the government, and we shall choose who shall represent us and who shall do the job. <coughs> not a political party. But that's your choice. You've got to understand above all else you the American people are actually the government of the people by the people for the people and for those of you who don't vote because of religious reasons and you believe in Christ understand Christ said render unto Caesar what is Caesar's and render unto God what is God's even if you vote and write only your name in registering your protest you have in this country and if you say well we can't because no God placed you here for a reason in this nation where you each and every one of us are the government from the day we were born or naturalized we are the government and we have a responsibility to each and every one of us. And part of that responsibility is to ensure that we seriously consider the individuals that we hire to do the job for the tools that we use 
in Washington, D.C. to run this nation. Yes, the tools. The President of the United States, the Congress, the House, and the Senate, and the appointment of the Supreme Court are tools <coughs> used to ensure that the Constitution is followed to regulate and run the government of the people, by the people, for the people, are there to assist each and every one of us to form the greatest nation in this world. But you, the people, have not been exercising your responsibility, and people have been being hired who have different goals who believes government should regulate the people. In other words, Europeanize the American government. We are the government. The United States of America's government is actually the people. Congress, the House and Senate, the President, and the Supreme Court is only the figurehead of our government. And our government is there to assist <coughs> the people of this nation and no others. Oh, wow. That's a lot to understand, people. <coughs> yes, you are the government. That is where the government lies. Nowhere else. <coughs> <coughs> and yes, it's going to be darn near impossible for me to be elected as president. Unless you, the government, <coughs> exercises your responsibility to each other. Listen to what I have to say. Listen to what I'm talking about. Understand. And I will probably do in one day that I am sworn in more than any president had done in four years or eight most. So please understand you are the government. If you like what I'm saying, pass it on exercise your responsibility to other people or you can continue to say well there's no way I'm not even going to consider you because there's no way you're going to get elected then you just made it so because you are the government each and every one of you thank you this is JD